We did have a bit of a name, we're a bit nasty. Not, nobody liked playing as much. Everyone hated Brighton, Mel Bogan. Well, Brighton's 20, 20 minutes from Hobart, and uh, yeah, now we've got the club, it's become pretty good. It's just a small country town with a lot of good people. It used to be farming people, a lot of farming. We've got a couple of nice pubs where you walk in and everyone knows you by name, which is great. You walk down the street in Brighton and the horn bips, someone has a wave, because uh, everybody seems to know everybody. And that's what all the small communities should be like. Wrestling doing Brighton, come play soccer at Brighton Soccer Club. I believe in 1992 they started at the school. That was the first sort of team. In 1999, there was a couple of parents that then bought it over to a private club, a local club. We didn't actually change over to the Brighton Storm Soccer Club then. We actually introduced youth. So then a couple of years after that, we just thought, right, you know, we want that connection between our juniors, our youth, and hopefully one day into our adult sides. So we decided then we would change the club over. So we are now known as the Brighton Storm Soccer Club. Well, it's obviously community-based, like everyone gets involved. Definitely can't go past Tina Moat, Carl, our coach uh, from previous years, and his wife, Donna, and also Annette Nichols. They're four people who the club just wouldn't survive without. We're here tirelessly. We do what's got to be done, um, and we love it. Volunteers are quite important for smaller clubs. I mean, we had a coach this year who was doing the line one day, and they'd be refing the next game, and then trying to coach at the same time. I do it for the reason I played soccer. I love soccer and I just love being part of it. Yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way. Without the community and volunteers, the Brighton Storm wouldn't be what it is. To develop the club, you've got to have support. The bakery, the IGA, it's been a huge part of the only way you can develop is a bit of sponsorship. I think the businesses in the community do support the sporting clubs in, in our area. It's part of being a community, so you support your local football, soccer, you support those groups. We've gone from a junior level to expanding to youth, and then we decided it's time to expand the club to a senior level. The majority of us actually went to primary school together, and so with high school as well, so we've played together for years and years and years. They've got a bond, I suppose, and they all, they're all they like brothers when they're playing. We had no expectations at all, really, because we were just hoping to get the team on the field. So to win the title was just amazing, because we, had, we really had no chance. <laughs> Even halfway through the season, we were still fourth and somehow we managed to go on a nine-game undefeated streak and win the title on the last day. Players are older in the other teams and having us come through being a lot younger and probably a lot quicker, I think it might have upset them a little bit, but at the end of the day, they had a lot more experience on their hand, smarter and tactically than what we were, but we come out and played our game. Notice with the older players, they try to intimidate us because they don't want to lose the bunch of kids, which we are. It affects our game, but it also affects theirs. So concentrating on the verbal instead of the, actually getting goals. They, they probably just thought we were walking a path, but we ended up beating them when it mattered. For us to win it first year, I mean, we no expectations. We just wanted to have a good year and, and start developing, but to win it was, was over the moon. And the, and the boys were just thrilled to bits. Oh, I definitely wanted to go to the highest level. So then the kids that have got talent, that start young, can keep growing up in the Brighton Storm and just get to the higher leagues, really. Do our best, yeah. try to get the win, and then move up to one and just keep building up. Yeah, one day, maybe MPL. Yeah, what did you hoping, say? hoping. Yeah, but we just want to build the club at the moment. Like, we've got a new uh, ground being built soon. Hopefully we'll upgrade the club rooms, get all that done. Last year we won the Div 3 Championship. Hopefully we can win another one this year and keep growing and growing each year sort of thing. So. The young ones as they can't get to be part of a successful team in Brighton, Tasmania. My knowledge of Brighton is uh, mainly through um, knowing Matt Ryan, the goalkeeper. And I know that's near a beach. I've looked at their beach and I thought, we'll stick to Tassie, thank you very much. And their emblem's a seagull or something, isn't it? Is that right? Don't know a lot about it over there, but wouldn't give this up for the world. Lived here for now nearly 20 years. You could not find a better community. 